We're going to look at the iMedia Logger software configuration. Uh, this is part of the uh, iMedia Touch suite of products made by OMT for radio stations. Uh, they have a few different uh, software packages that are part of this this whole package. But um, the one we're going to look at is the logger, the iMedia Logger, which records uh, a feed that you send to the the computer it's running on, um, records the audio, and saves it uh, to files. So the iMedia Logger is something that you know always is running and just creates constant log files for all of your broadcast audio. We're using an older version here. Uh, we've used it for a few years and it works well for us. Um, so this is not, not the newest version. Uh, as you can see here on the left that we've got the audio feed coming in. The level meters are, are going to, to show that. Um, before we make a feed, that, let's just look at our standard configuration options. I'm going to Tools, Configure. Um, and one tab here is about the files that it's going to save. So we've got uh, a macro that it can use to name the files and gives you an example here of what that's going to look like after the file is saved. Uh, I usually do these custom per feed so I'm not going to worry about this one here. Um, but the destination is also important. This says the default destination is going to go to our C drive uh, logs folder and that's fine for us. Uh, there's some other options here. just wanted to show those mostly. Uh, the HTML, this is made in some interest because the iMedia Logger has a web server on it and it generates uh, some web pages so that you can easily access these log files. So there's some options here about color, um, which pages it generates, but I uh, don't really need to change anything there. Uh, so I didn't change anything, I just wanted to show uh, this destination and the macro. So cancel that, but the first thing we need to do is create a feed. Uh, we at our radio station we do multiple feeds, a low quality and a high quality. The low quality is nice if you just want to email something to somebody, you know, it makes uh, manageable file sizes. Uh, the higher quality is better for you know, something you want to rebroadcast at another time or um, you know listen to with higher quality. So the first thing we do is here we're on the feeds tab we click add and it asks you to name the feed. We're gonna make the low quality feed first. Okay. You can edit the description again call it the low quality feed. Uh, where is it going to save it? We're just going to use the default destination which was that C drive logs folder. Uh, let's use a custom file name macro. Uh, this is nice. It gives you an, an example down here of you know what the file is going to look like. And right now it's going to just, it's got the feed name. So you can do the, and use these buttons to um, to shortcuts. Uh, I, what I really want to do is store it in a uh, folder by date. So what I'm going to do is uh, just like they've got it here in their example, I want to do year-month-day and then a subdirectory so that I can do the low and the high. So I'm going to go year dash month dash day subdirectory then the feed name and then the hour because we're going to split these up by hours. So that's what we'll use. Um, I'll put in a couple zeros actually. Uh, I'll put in the minute like that. So 
We're going to start them on the hour, so it should be like 1400, 1500, but just in case it gets split, it'll put the minute in there. Um, so that's a good macro to use. And again, you can use this as your default macro. I kind of like to have it here. Um, so for our low quality, we'll just go with the standard. Um, we're going to go with one channel mono. I'm going to use MPEG 1 layer 3. Um, I'll do sample rate of 22,000. And then the bit rate will leave at 24,000. Uh, so one of the nice things is it tells you how much disk space this is going to use per week. Uh, so we're at 1.69 gigabytes per week with this feed. Uh, you can purge the the files, and this purging will just use the default purging um, that can be set in the options, and it, I think it's set to 30 days or 90 days. Uh, but for each feed, you can also have custom uh, custom purging for a particular number of days. So we'll leave it with the uh, standard file purging. When you click apply, you'll see over on the left now low quality feed is an available feed. So the next thing we need to do is go to the schedule. We've got the feed, but now we need to create a schedule. So we go to schedule and we'll add a schedule. Uh, there's a few different types here. There's standard logging, single shot, and daily. So we're going to keep it on logging, and you can see the helper text here says logging items record continuously, but you can use the split file list below to select a file division length. So even though this is grayed out, we can still use this drop down and say that we want to split the files uh, every hour, hourly boundary. Uh, we're going to use the low quality feed, and we will just call this... low quality hourly logging. Click OK. So now you can see this starts flashing up here recording. So now we're actually logging files now that we've got a schedule set up. So those are the two steps to set up um, a feed and a schedule. As I mentioned you can have more than one feed so if I go to um, the feeds here. I can click another one. Make a high quality feed. So let's call it high quality feed. Um, again, I'll use MPEG 1 layer 3. But this time I'll record it in stereo. Um, and we'll do a sample rate of 44,100. Bit rate, a lot of options, but we'll leave it there at 96,000. And again, you can see the disk space per week for that feed. Let's go ahead and we'll click apply. Now high quality feed is an available feed as well. And if we just set up a schedule for that, then we can have both of them um, recording simultaneously. So that after at every hour, then we get a low quality and a high quality. Um, that's it. Again, as I wanted to uh, point out, it's, this isn't the most recent version of iMedia Logger, but um, it's been working for us well and um, hopefully the, on the newer versions, if you have a newer version, then uh, a lot of the same concepts and settings apply. Thanks.